shot by showing you guys the stuff I use to shoot these videos. Now this monstrosity here is the Aperture Light Dome. Remote beside me, something too bright, I can adjust just with the remote. And they're LED so they don't get hot whatsoever. These lights, I'm so impressed with these lights. So at this point I knew that I needed this light, so I reached out to Aperture, they sent me one, and I used it for a photo shoot. So this is how it went down. What's up everybody, it's Manny Ortiz and I'm here to talk about the Aperture 120D recommended by Peter McKinnon himself. Now the reason why I saw interest in this light is because not only do I do photos but I do a lot of video now. Obviously most constant lighting is geared toward videographers and flashes are geared more toward photographers but come on guys, look at that. Like that, that puts out some really soft light so I figured hey, I could use this for both photo and video. So as you've seen in the video, I did a photo shoot with the Aperture 120D. I know a lot of photographers are gonna have questions about this light and how did it work for me in the studio because I usually use flash. So that's what I wanna talk about right now. Um, there are some positives and some negatives. So obviously the positive is that you get to preview the, what the light's gonna look like, right? So you, with the light, with the constant lighting, you can preview what the shadows look like on the face, where's the fall off happening. It's, it, it makes it the process really easy, right? Um, that's obviously one of the good things about this light as well as you know it's pretty powerful and um, the lights really soft so those are the positives of using this light in the studio one of the downsides of using the aperture 120d or any constant lighting in the studio is that the settings that you use in your camera are going to be based off the power of this light unlike when you use flash you can kind of pretty much you can pretty much use any f-stop you want with the light like this you obviously can't put it too bright or you're going to burn the model's eyes out so you have to have it at a power at a comfortable setting and then your aperture and everything has to be kind of at a certain range, right? So I was mostly shooting between F2 and F5 because if I go over F5, I'm gonna have to jack up my ISO to compensate, right? Uh, for the loss of light. And that's obviously gonna give me some grainier images, not what I want in a studio setting. Another downside is that your freezing motion is gonna be tough using constant lighting because you need a lot of power. You need to jack up that shutter speed to freeze power. And there were a couple of shots when I was shooting, I think like at F, um, I was shooting at like 1 1 25 of a second, which is my normal studio um, Shutter speed so I, she was flicking her hair up and I was getting it all blurred out and I realized that so when I raised my shutter speed I needed to raise my ISO at the same time. So um, That's obviously another very limiting factor when using constant lighting in a studio for my photographers and videographers out there If you're looking for a dual purpose light one that you can do some shoot some videos with you can light up some of your portraits or do some photography with Highly recommend this light right here. I'm going to be using it for more of my photo shoots personally because number one, the light quality is really nice. And number two, it's kind of convenient, right? Having a constant light source, you can see what's happening in front of you. So yeah, I like it. For my people out there that are just photographers that don't dabble into video, I still recommend a flash setup in the studio because like I said, it's just, it just gives you a lot more versatility with your settings and the things that you can do. This is a great compliment to a flash setup when you want to you know, do something kind of simple. Um, like I did right now light quality is beautiful. So yeah, definitely if you want to complement a flash system Go with the aperture 120d. I'm really really liking it so far All right, so with that said I want to genuinely thank everyone that watches my videos If you're interested in any of the gear used in this video including that light right there I got some affiliate links down below in the description box and if you want to see some more content on the Sony a7 III I got one coming out next week. So you don't want to miss out on that make sure to hit that subscribe button right here to 
uh, so you can keep up with all my future content. And have a great week, guys. Peace.